What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because we are getting our game on. We're showing off heroes in today's video and this deck got extremely buffed recently with the release of EN Shuffle. This card just came out in Battles of Revenge and on top of that with the brand new ban list I think there's a really cool way to play this deck and be competitive into today's metagame. Into Sprite, into Tier Limits, into Flounderies and I'm really excited to be showing it to you guys. So if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff it's right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe to stay tuned into all of that recently i've been doing a lot of deck profiles that's because the new ban list has just been announced and for that reason this build that you guys are seeing today is for the upcoming format i'm really excited to be getting into it so with that i guess let's get right into the deck profile all right so i'm really excited to get into this profile let's get right into it we are of course doing an elemental hero a hero deck profile none other than the jade and you sign play mat over here let's get things started we are starting off with two elemental hero stratos i think two is all you're ever going to need i don't think you're ever going to want to play the third just because ash is not super prevalent in today's format imperm isn't super prevalent which means you have access to this either by the normal summon either by rhoda or you have a hero lives as well and then we're also playing two elemental hero shadow mist one liquid soldier as well as one honest neos this is our elemental hero package i think these are the perfect ratios these are the perfect ones you need i think the liquid soldier is still very powerful so that's why we're still playing the one and the honest neos just makes it really powerful because on top of being able to help you otk it is a form of protection for you so i really like these ratios i wouldn't change these up for the elemental heroes then for the vision heroes we're playing pretty standard like three ferris two vion and we're only playing the one increase we're not playing the second increase just because there's literally no reason to play the second other than it's a brick yes if you draw the increase it sucks don't get me wrong you'd rather just make room for other cards in the deck so that's why we're only playing the one increase i don't think there's a reason to play the second one yes sometimes it can come up but you just want, don't want to see it you want to keep it at one leave it in your deck and then we are playing the destiny hero package of course so we're playing the two destiny hero malicious the one denier the one plasma as well as the one destiny hero dark angel i hated this card for so long but now with ian shuffle being relevant this card is just so powerful there's a combo i'm going to show you guys at the end of the video where essentially if you just open fusion destiny plus ian shuffle i'm sure you guys have seen the combo before but it gets you to dark angel and a dp and a dark law which is insanely powerful so that's why you're playing the one dark angel so that's it for the monsters that's it for the hero count i don't think you need to be playing more this is just the most compact version the only thing you could argue is a third stratos but uh, i think the two stratos is just perfectly fine so i really like these ratios then for the spell cards, we are playing, of course, a decent amount of spell cards. We're playing three, a hero lives. You got to start off with three of this. Again, with Ash not being super prevalent in today's format, this card is just insanely powerful now. It gets you access to whatever you need to get access to. We're playing three Fusion Destiny, of course. This card is insane. Of course, we all know how powerful Fusion Destiny is. But on top of it just being really broken, this card in combination with the next card I'm about to show you and the newest card that hero got access to, which is three Ian Shuffle. If you just draw Ian Shuffle and Destiny, you're pretty much winning every single match just because it's such a powerful combo together and you're always going to have dpe dark law and you're going to have a dark angel so that your opponent can't activate spell cards and then on top of that you're going to have your monsters in defense position so they can't actually crash the dark angel and yeah so they're under a dark law which means that they can't have access to their graveyard they can't have access to spell cards and then you have dpe as a pop as well so i really like these ratios you've got to play three and three just because you really want to see these two as fast as possible then of course we're playing the three mass change really important the one miracle fusion as well as the one polymerization i've seen people try to play two polymerization and that's because they're scared of getting milled by the tier limit matchup i can completely understand that logic however i still like playing the one because we do have some anti-tier stuff here in the main deck that i'm going to show you guys in a minute so that's why we're only playing the one poly we're of course playing one reinforcements of the army as well this card's insane gets you into your straddles gets you into any of your heroes essentially so you got to play the one rota and then we are playing some back row hate i'm main decking feathers duster as well as two cosmic cyclone and the reason for this is because d fissure is now back at three and d fissure does hurt this deck so if you are forced to go second even going first this card's not bad you can set it and then if you're holding on a cyclone it's really powerful powerful still because you can hit the Pierre Lorino when they activate it you can hit the Suli you can hit a lot of different cards in the tier limit matchup and against the Flandries matchup you can hit map you can hit the trap card there's a lot of situations where Cyclone is just good into a lot of different matchups but going a second specifically you need an out to D Fissure you need an out to Macrocosmo and those cards are going to be really relevant D Fissure I think more so than Macrocosmo but regardless it's an out for you so that's why we're playing these in the main deck so three outs in the main deck and then of course these cards over here are just not really arguable you got to be playing these ratios 
And then, like I said earlier, we are playing some anti-tier stuff. And it's not even the tier stuff that you're afraid of. It's literally just the Ishizu stuff. So we're playing three Ghost Spell as well as two Skullmeister. I really like these ratios. I think they're perfectly fine. The reason we're playing two Skullmeister, even though this one is not a once per turn versus the Ghost Spell, which is a once per turn, it's just because Ghost Spell has a lot more versatility in a lot of other matchups, whereas Skullmeister is very specifically geared towards the tier limit matchup. So for that reason, I like the three and two ratio. I think five is the perfect ratio. If you ever think about like normal summons in the deck or all of these other ratios, People always like to say play five because if you play five you'll at least see one and as long as you're stopping one of the cards that mill you in the tier ishizu matchup that's perfectly fine so for that reason i like to play these five you really don't want to get milled out it's just so tough when you start getting milled out because you have so many cards that are essential combo pieces that are one ofs so that's why we're playing this ratio right here it's 40 cards in the main deck exactly Moving on to the extra deck here, we are going to start off with our little two tokens over here, signed by Jaden Yuki himself. You already know what it is. And so we're playing the two Mass Hero Dark Law. You got to be playing two Dark Law, of course. We all know how powerful Dark Law is. The one Mass Hero Blast helps you dodge Imperm Veiler. Doesn't really come up super often nowadays, but you still want to be playing the one. The one Anki, of course, because you can make your Dark Law into an Anki to try to push for game sometimes. That's why I like playing the Anki with the Blast and the Dark Law. And this stuff is all really, really relevant. And then we're playing one Acid, of course, because we are playing Liquid Soldier, which means we have access to Acid. But another card that helps us get us to acid is actually our absolute zero over here and acid absolute zero is a really really great combo because if you guys don't know absolute zero when it leaves the field you destroy all monsters your opponent controls acid when it's summoned destroys all back row your opponent controls so now if you're going ab zero into acid you're pretty much getting rid of your opponent's entire board which is insane then we're playing the one vision hero trinity i really like this card it does help you otk the one sunrise of course you got to be playing the one sunrise this card is just so powerful dpe of course it's part of your first turn combo so you got to be playing the dpe this card is insane we're playing the one Esquardo as well as the one Vision Hero Adoration. The other option for Adoration, I will say, is Destiny Hero Dangerous. So the reason you can play Dangerous as well is because sometimes it's another Destiny Hero name for you that you can actually make later in the game, or sometimes it's an extra name that you can use for Dark Angel. So if you guys wanted to switch Adoration with Dangerous, that's perfectly fine as well. But I still like Adoration is just another name, specifically because it just has two hero cards, which means you can use any two hero cards to make this, and it does help you just push for a little bit of damage. So that's why I like the Adoration. And then we're playing the two Cross Crusader, the one Wonder Driver as well as the one dread decimator these are all the link monsters you need you're never really going into your links outside of these ones you're barely even going to dread decimator but wonder and cross crusader are really relevant so you got to be playing these and i think these are just the perfect ratios if you guys want to play super poly in the side deck you guys can actually make room to cut out the adoration cut out the esquardo for some super poly targets but i'm not playing super poly so i'm gonna actually gonna show you guys the side deck right now just to show you guys what i was playing or what i've been playing and uh yeah but the thing is you can technically cut these two for super poly targets i just don't think you need to be playing super poly right now also, just before I forget, if you guys want your Spanko YGO sleeves or you guys want any custom sleeves, you guys can check out your playmat. I have a discount code for 10% off. You guys can check the link in the description or use code Spanko YGO 10 YP so that you guys can get 10% off your order. Again, you can get these Spanko sleeves, but you can also get any custom sleeves. So just keep that in mind. And then we are going to be showing you guys the side deck over here. For the side deck, we are playing three Lightning Storm going second. This is very important in today's format. Again, with Fissure being relevant against the Fluandries matchup, this card is really good. So you want to be playing three Storm. Also, against Fluandries, that deck is just so annoying. So we're playing the two Regeki as well. Helps you break their boards. I think it's really important that you play these. Five cards again siding in, going second against the Fluandries matchup is really powerful. And then we're playing the two Necro Valley, the two Zombie World, the one Terraforming, and then the two Metaverse. So we're playing this package or these cards, I guess you could say over here, when we're going first against either the Tier Limit matchup or if we're going first against the Fluandries matchup. Now Zombie World is actually really good going second against the Fluandries matchup as well because they can't actually go Tribute Summon, make Ryza, etc, etc. So Zombie World is a card that you can side in going second as well in the Fluandries but we all know how powerful Necro Valley is against the Tier Limit matchup yes Necro Valley can hurt your deck a little bit however it hurts the Tier Limit matchup way more and I think the value with this is just so important even though yes you won't be able to use your malicious and whatnot it doesn't really matter because if you're completely shutting out your opponent you can literally just go Fusion Destiny summon DPE make a Dark Law somehow if you have something like an Ian Shuffle and then you're going to be going for game or pushing for a lot of damage and then they're kind of stuck right so that's why I think Necro Valley is just way too important even though it hurts you a little bit hurts them way more and then the last three cards we're playing is three rivalry rivalry is insane especially if you're going dark angel because you're effectively giving your opponent a warrior with your dark angel and then you're gonna have a setup and so they can't actually summon and link it away into anything because they're stuck into warriors so that's why i really like the rivalry that's it for the side deck i think it can be changed up depending on what your locals is but this is a side deck i've been playing and i've been really really liking it 
So here is the two card combo over here that I essentially like to call an FTK combo against the tier limit matchup, but it's just really powerful into every other matchup. This combo, if you open Ian Shuffle and Fusion Destiny, two cards is absolutely insane. So let's get things started. We're going to start off, of course, by activating our Fusion Destiny, and we are going to send our Malicious as well as our Denier to summon our Destiny Hero Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. And that's, of course, the standard Fusion Destiny play. But what we're going to do now, so we're going to summon it here, right? Don't worry about zones. You can actually play with proper zones later. I'm just going to be showing it to you guys with the limited space we have but here what we're going to do is we're going to banish our malicious so that we can summon a malicious from our main deck all right so here we have access to our malicious then what we're going to do is we now have access to use denier effect so we're going to use its effect to special summon itself by putting our malicious that's banished back into our deck which is really nice here then what we're going to do is we're going to link these two away so that we can summon our extra hero cross crusader all right so now what we can do is we can use our cross crusader effect to special summon the malicious back activate its effect to pop the malicious and then that is going to let us search for our element elemental hero stratos right over here right so we're going to add stratos to our hand so now what you're going to do is you're going to normal summon your stratos activate its effect to search any hero card and we're going to search destiny hero dark angel now if you open dark angel you can search honest neos you can search any other hero but in this case we're opening only two cards so we're going to search our dark angel what we're going to do next is we're going to actually activate our ian shuffle targeting our stratos but we're also going to chain the dpe to pop the ian shuffle and pop itself so we're going to get to pop these two they're going to go to their graveyard stratos of course is going to go back into our main deck so that we can then summon our elemental hero shadow mist now it's really important that you actually summon it in defense and i'll explain why later but you really want to summon it in defense all right so then just before we continue shadow mist was special summon so don't forget to activate its effect so that you can search the mass change directly to your hand right so now in our hand we have a mass change and we have our dark angel what else do we have in our graveyard we have one two three destiny hero monsters which means we can use our dark angel effect to give it to our opponent now i'm just going to keep it here just so you know that this is our opponent's field now and this essentially is going to lock our opponents out of using their spell cards now you have mass change right so you're going to set the mass change and you're going to pass your turn on your standby phase dpe is going to be able to come back and then what you're going to do on your standby phase as well is you are going to activate the mass change over here and then change the cross crusader specifically the cross crusader you want to mask change this into your mass hero dark law so this is your end board right your end board is dark law plus dpe plus a dark angel on your opponent's side of the field now why is this so powerful well one this is essentially locking them out of using spell cards altogether they also can't change this to attack and crash because all of our monsters are in defense and that's a really important part that i was talking about earlier all of our monsters being in defense is really important because then they can't crash the dark angel and then they're playing into a dark law you have a dpe as well now imagine post side you have a rivalry here as well then your opponent's locked into warriors which is absolutely insane right but this combo right here it's a very basic two card combo but this two card combo essentially ensures that dark law is safe because your opponent can't activate any spell cards if they want to try to activate their monster effects send them to the graveyard they can't because of dark law you also have dpe for any other form of protection where if your opponent can somehow summon a monster that's big enough to attack over dark law then you can just dpe pop it right so then all you have is protection for your dark law you have your dark angel and it's just absolutely insane so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy now keep in mind this build like i said earlier is built to beat the meta game for the brand new december 1st 2022 ban list i'm keeping in mind the tier limit matchup i'm keeping in mind the fissures and all the floodgate stuff we're keeping all that stuff in mind when we're building this deck because those are going to be very prevalent in today's format and i'm really excited because i think hero is as powerful as it's ever been so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel deck profiles combo videos dual replays product openings vlogs all that good stuff it's right here on the channel so make sure you guys subscribe we're close to 8,000. i know we can make it happen thank you guys all for watching and with that think of signing out peace